Listen, I told you last time, I'm not telling you not to get this, but try this instead. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So in the last video I did with my dupes, I showed you guys some really good ones. I also explained to you the difference between a dupe and a counterfeit. So if you don't know the difference, go back and watch that video and it'll give you more of an understanding about what this video is about. Okay, so let's start with some fabulous boots that have overwhelmed my spirit since I have seen them. They are from Jimmy Choo and they are sparkly and and just gorgeous. These knee-high sparkly wedged boots that are just to die for. In fact, they also have um, some silver pair similar to the silver Schutz boots that I showed you guys before. In fact, that's a really good dupe. But now that I've seen these crystallized version, I am obsessed. If you've watched my trend video, what's on trend for this fall, you know that silver and sparkle and fabulousness is a big trend this season. So what I found is not an exact copy. We're not looking for copies. We are looking for dupes. These boots from Nine West, though are not a wedge, still give you that grayish, bluish color and that beautiful, beautiful sparkle. They also come in black if the blue's too much for you. They come in like a silver clear color. Though it is not exactly the same, it does give you that essence. It does give you that vibe. And I'm sure if you are into the sparkle and the fabulousness of this season's trend, this will make you feel just as fabulous as the Jimmy Choo ones. Sticking with boots, I recently saw these Paris, Texas boots um, for a very good, very good deal. And that's in the next video because I got them, you guys. <laughs> but I recently saw these for a real good deal. I don't know if they are still on sale, but I will put them in the description box if they are still on sale. But what I found was a really good dupe for them. I love Schutz. Speak about their knee-high boots very often. If you watch my boot collection, you saw that I have a very um, good collection of their boots. So when I saw these from Saks Fifth Avenue, I knew that they would be amazing quality. Now I know they don't, they're not exactly the same color, but they're both suede and they give that really soft, supple looking fall, warm and cozy type of feel. And they are considerably cheaper. With Paris, Texas boots, depending on where you buy them, they could be thousands of dollars or they could be five, um, you know, five or four or six. I actually got a really good pair. Uh, if you watch my video, my boot video for like two, three hundred dollars, you have to kind of know where to find them. But yes, I thought this would be a really good dupe, though not the exact same color. You still get that same vibe. And if the boots that I got are still on sale, I would definitely put them in the description box and you can decide if you want the dupe or you want the pair of sixes version. Okay, so let's talk about something that's a little more controversial. I told you guys many times um, that ballet flats were coming back. I told you in the last trend video, I'm pretty sure I told you in the trend video before that, and I just spoke about it throughout my vlogs. I knew that it was time for them to come back. I knew that the trend cycle was on its way, and I've spoken about this before. Fashion is cyclical, and I knew that ballet flats were soon to be on trend again. Now, I know for many people, they never really left. I know if you have a more classic style, ballet flats are um, usually in the rotation, but for the fashion uh, people or the people that are part, what they call the fashion sect, the ballet flats weren't really at the forefront of trends, right? So they are now. If you go into TikTok and just search for ballet flats, 
it's overwhelming. Everyone is getting the Chanel pair. There's a lot of, of the of the Miu Miu. They're everywhere. So whether you like it or not, ballet flats are now back on the forefront <laughs> of fashion. So if you love that look, if you love the Chanel ballet flat look, but can't or don't want to spend that money, there are so many options. So these from Nordstrom look very, very similar to the Chanel. These look so much like the Chanel ballet flats and are so much cheaper. Um, and you still get that vibe. You still get that comfort. You still get the look of them without spending that type of money. If you go to any shoe brand right now, a lot of them have ballet flats. They are high end contemporary or high street. They are everywhere. But I chose to show you these um, in particular because they looked so much like the Chanel Ballet Flats. Sticking with shoes, I want to talk about some Manolo Blahniks. There was actually, <laughs> there was actually a Manolo Blahnik sample sale um, this past weekend in Manhattan and first of all, the line is crazy. People were waiting online for three to five hours, but you guys, they were getting Manolos for like $200. Just couldn't justify Okay, let's be honest. I didn't want to stand in line for five hours. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know if I regret it or not, but thinking about the fact that I lost that on $200 Manolos, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if it was worth my time, but maybe next year. Anyway, if you're in the city or close to the city, look out for the Manolo Blahnik sale. Like, I'm, I'm hoping maybe next year I'll get in early and maybe I could find something, but I just didn't have it in me. Anyway, speaking of Manolos, these Manolos are classic. Um, you see them on Sex in the City when Carrie had them, when Biggie proposed, Biggie, <laughs> when uh, Mr. Big, <laughs> from New York, guys, <laughs> when Mr. Big proposed to her. These shoes were or are classic um, but they also are not cheap they're they're not cheap one of the best alternatives that I have found are from Badgley Mishka now these are not cheap but they are from a reputable brand they do not look exactly the same but you still get the vibe. It's a beautiful shoe and will always have a place in your closet. So I thought these were a beautiful dupe and of course I'll leave them below. So we've all seen these Gucci sling back shoes and while they are very particular to a particular set of people with a particular set of sense of style, they are still expensive. So not everybody likes them, but those of you who do have another option. Look at these from Mango. You guys, what I'm telling you, these look almost exactly the same, minus the G's on the shoe, which some people could do without, honestly, right? These are the same vibe. Mango has some really good dupes. And while I was strolling through, or strolling, while I was scrolling <laughs> through the website, I really saw some really good alternatives. So if you have some time, take your time and kind of go through Mango. But these in particular, stood out to me because I know a lot of people love these shoes. This option is absolutely fabulous. All right, so we are still talking about shoes. I'm gonna go back a little bit to Jimmy Choo um, because they have had some very beautiful sparkly shoes just like those boots I showed you earlier and I am a magpie. I love anything shiny, <laughs> right? But also know that I can't buy all of it. So there are these that I think are beautiful that wrap around your ankle. And then they have these silver and gold gradient kind of vibe. And they are stunning. But look at these from Dune. Dune London, I believe here in America, doesn't get enough play. I don't know how it is overseas, but I know here we don't talk about Dune enough they have some really good not only dupes but just some really good shoes in general and Dune like other shoe brands have really leaned into the sparkle and the shine and the silver so they also have some bags that have some dupe 
potential. So you guys have seen this Prada bag many a times. I think it's beautiful. But this bag from Dune London is giving you that same type of vibe, right? It's long, it has a short handle, it has the crystals on the front. Now it's not shaped exactly the same, but it is definitely giving you that vibe. For me, I would definitely take off that extra piece they have on the front. I don't know why they put that there. That kind of messes it up for me. Imagine it without that. Um, it's a very similar vibe and a fraction of the price. So if you watch my trend video, you know that denim is very trendy right now. You also know that long skirts are trending. So put that together and what's really trending is a long denim skirt. So this beautiful long denim skirt from Kate is designer. It's not cheap. There are so many options, or there's so many alternatives to this Kate denim skirt, though it is beautiful. You have some from Frame, which is cheaper, not cheap. Um, some skirts from Old Navy, which is pretty cheap. And of course you have some from Levi, because you know, that's a denim brand. You don't have to get this Kate skirt, even though I think it's beautiful. There are so many options. Pair this long denim skirt with some high boots, you have a look and a sweater. It's cozy, it's Y2K, it's a little 90s, it's really a look. So lately I have been noticing that designers have really been playing with the structure of trench coats. Whether they are deconstructed, whether they are cropped. I saw this beautiful cropped trench um, from Takoon, which I'm thinking of getting. They're also really playing with not only the deconstruction, but they're playing with um, the color so that they have like two tones. You have a Frankie Shop um, trench that has two different tones. You have the Bottega trench that also has two different tones. And again, these are fairly expensive. But if you go to ASOS, you will find this trench that I think is really cute that has two different tones. Now, while it is probably not the same quality. I can guarantee you it's not the same quality um, as the Frankie Shop or as the Bottega one. You're still kind of getting that same vibe. Um, it's not deconstructed so much, more, more of it being two-tone. There are some deconstructed affordable trench um, options that I'll get get into in the next video but as far as two tones are concerned I thought this was a really good option if you were looking at the Bottega or the Frankie shop or any other ones and thinking I love this I need this but I don't want to spend all my money on this so if you are a fashion person you probably have seen these YSL heel they either come in a heel or a sling back and of course they're YSL so they're gonna be YSL prices but look at these from Jeffrey Campbell they look very, very, very similar. You won't get the YSL name, but you will get the look. But we have all seen these Prada um, kitten heel slingback silver shoes or sparkly, whichever one you like better. But these silver ones are so cute, right? And very on trend. Look at these from Mango. I told you guys Mango has some some good some good dupes. Like everyone goes to Zara, people love the Zara haul, but do not sleep on Mango. Now while these are not exact copies, they still give you that same vibe and for much much cheaper. While we're talking about Prada and Mango, let's look at this Prada Clio bag, this silver Clio bag. We've all seen it. It's very trendy right now. Um, as far as where it is in the trend cycle, it might be peak, I don't know yet. But if it is peak, right, you don't really want to spend too much money on it if you don't think you're gonna be wearing it in the next two years. Uh, I haven't really explained the trend cycle yet, but I have a graph over here and I'll explain it later. But if you don't think you're gonna be wearing it for the next two years, but you still think it's cute, look at this bag from Mango. It has the same vibe, it does not say Prada, but it's silver, it has that crescent shape, and it's much, much cheaper. All right, you guys, so there's two more things I want to show you. This totem jacket um, is a big deal. Everyone's been wearing it. Well, not everyone, because I ain't got it. But like the bigger fashion people have been wearing it. It's expensive. Totem has some beautiful pieces. They're just designer prices. 
But if you like the look, don't want to spend the money, Mango has got you covered. It is not an exact dupe, but it is the exact vibe, you guys. It's almost the exact vibe. I'm like... <laughs> I'm blown away by mango. I, I feel like I personally have been sleep, sleeping on mango just because I go to Zara all the time um, because everyone goes to Zara. But I that's another video. I've been looking at mango. I've been looking at and other stories and I've been looking at cause. They have some good stuff. Anyway, other video. That's another video. <laughs> and the last thing that I want to show you guys, I saved it for last for several reasons. I don't have experience with this website, but an influencer that I trust has experience with this website. So that's like a he said, she said thing, but I still feel like I want to show you this. You have seen this awake mold skirt, which I think is fabulous and am strongly considering um, getting because I think it is just, a. I think it's a work of art. I think it's beautiful. I think it's just really, really pretty. If you like the look of it, but spending that much money on a skirt is crazy to you. Look at this one. Again, I don't have experience with this website, but she said she does. And on that website, I found this skirt and I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to show you. I might order it. It's only $60, right? So I might order it to give you guys my experience with the website but um, I just wanted to show it to you and maybe you've had some experience um, some experience with this uh, website in fact I actually if you have leave a comment and let us all know but I've actually have done my due diligence besides the person that I trust I've also gone to trust pilot if you have seen a website and you're not familiar with it trust pilot is a website that will rate other websites right so people can leave comments they can tell you if it's a trustworthy place it can tell you how long it took to ship and just give them their ex their experiences with that website so i did do my due diligence in that respect i just want to put it out there because i don't need y'all coming talking to me if you buy it come back and curse me out <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But yeah, they look very, very, very similar. So anyway, there are so many things that I could show you, but this video has to stop somewhere. The last video you guys loved, so if I could find more, I will continue to show you more. Let me know. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my next video.